Hi Leo, this is your February 14th through February 20th weekly tarot reading. I do five separate spreads in my weekly readings. We'll have a spread on new love, a separate spread on love and an existing relationship. I'll do an X spread. We'll talk about your work, your business and your finances and we'll see what you're not expecting to happen this week. Please like, subscribe and donate to support this channel. This first spread is on new love this week. We have the Ace of Pentacles, clarified by the Star. We have the Hermit. We have the King of Cups. We have the Eight of Wands, clarified by the Lovers and the Two of Swords. And we have the Queen of Wands on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Aquarius or a Virgo or a Gemini or Water Sign, Cancer, Scorpio or Pisces. Yeah, we've got quite a few uh, court cards here. Um, so the Queen of Wands on the bottom of the deck is most likely you. Leo, male or female, absolutely doesn't matter. I really like the fact that the Queen of Wands came out on the bottom of the deck. That means you're the one in charge. You're the one calling the shots. And uh, you will have to call the shot here. Um, and uh, you will have this offer with the uh, Ace of Pentacles presented to you. This is a golden opportunity offer. But I think you're being really, really suspicious about it. <laughs> Um, the Ace of Pentacles could be an offer to um, take this relationship to the next level if this is somebody whom you are already in a relationship with. Or perhaps you already know this person and here they come out of the blue proposing to you or you know, making you this amazing offer with the Ace of Pentacles. And the Ace of Pentacles usually does represent a really amazing offer. It could be a proposal, it could be something serious. The Ace of Pentacles is usually coming from somebody uh, who wants long term, somebody who wants to settle down, somebody who wants to get married at some point in the future. The Ace of Pentacles is clarified by the star. It could be an Aquarius who is presenting this offer or this is a wish come true. But uh, to be honest with you, what I'm feeling here, the star is a wish come true card and um, you're thinking to yourself, it's, it looks too good to be true. <laughs> Like I said, you're being a little suspicious. The next card that came out is the Hermit. It could be a Virgo you're dealing with. But most likely this is your energy. That's what I'm feeling. And it's kind of symbolic that the cards came out this way. So the Ace of Pentacles is facing to the right and the Hermit is facing to the left. So I think this is you examining this Ace of Pentacles offer. This is you trying to shine the light out of your lantern on this offer you're trying to get to the bottom of it you're trying to get you're trying to understand if this person legit is this offer really what they say it is do they really want to settle down do they really mean what they're saying so it's like you going within doing some soul searching and at the same time like i said this is you examining this offer trying to understand what this person if this person is the real deal basically the next card that came out is the King of Cups. I think it's the person you're dealing with. Could be a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Or this person is in control of their emotions. This person is mature, but at the same time still very loving. Um, in the uh, potential outcome, we have the Eight of Wands, clarified by the Lovers and uh, the Two of Swords. The, the, lover, uh, the, yeah, the Lovers could be a Gemini you're dealing with, but most likely this is all about a choice that you will have to make. And uh, we have two choice cards in the potential outcome, the, the Lovers and the Two of Swords. Both of them are about a choice, both of them are about a crossroads that you will be facing. And the Eight of Wands is a card of communication, so you'll just have to uh, let this person know what you think, what you want to do here. Or the Eight of Wands is the back and forth communication, perhaps you'll be asking them follow up questions, <laughs> so it'll feel like a job interview. Um, but um, yeah, I think this person is serious. I don't see any cards suggesting otherwise, to be honest with you. Um, I don't see any cards of uh, them wanting to just take advantage of you. I don't see any cards of them having an ulterior motive. I think this person is uh, the real deal. But uh, since we have two um, choice cards in the potential outcome, I'll just leave it up to you. Leo and uh, you will be doing your own research you will be trying to get to the bottom of it and um, I think you're gonna be really good at that so I'm not gonna do an extended I'll 
let you figure it out. And uh, like I said, I, b I believe this person is, um, this person means what they're saying. All right? Cool. Leo, if you are already married or if you are in a relationship, this spread is for you. We have the Ten of Cups, we have the Five of Swords, we have the Page of Swords clarified by the Ten of Pentacles and the Five of Cups, and we have the Tower on the bottom of the deck. So I think you're going to get into a fight this week with your boyfriend, your girlfriend, or your significant other. Hopefully it will not cause your relationship or marriage to fall apart, but um, I'm going to call it 50-50. But I think in the end, even the two of you you know, break up, the two of you will feel sorry about it and the two of you will get back together. Um, so the first card I came out is the Ten of Cups. This is uh, your marriage or your relationship. The next card I came out is the Five of Swords. This is a card of a fight. This is a card of a breakup. This is a card of when two people just say, you know what, screw it, I'm out of here. That type of energy. And we also have the page, I mean the tower on the bottom of the deck. This is also very similar to the Five of Swords energy here. This is um, something bad happening, a major, major blowout. The last card that came out is the Page of Swords, and the Page of Swords is clarified by the Ten of Pentacles and the Five of Cups. So the Page of Swords is like two people are spying on each other. You know, when you get into a fight, especially if you live together, <laughs> you're like, uh, ignoring each other but you're still watching each other you're watching each other, every move the other person makes right and uh, the page of swords is clarified by the ten of pentacles and the five of cups the ten of pentacles is very similar to the ten of cups energy this is your marriage or your relationship and the five of cups is a card of somebody who's got regret somebody who grieves something what they did or said in the past that's how I'm gonna call it in this particular spread so hopefully the two of you uh, will be getting back together because I really like the fact that the Page of Swords, the last card that came out, is clarified by the Ten of Pentacles. So the marriage or your relationship hopefully can still be preserved and the two of you will have regrets about what the two of you did and the two of you can still continue this marriage or relationship. So as I always say, um, Kiss and make up, <laughs> or don't make love. Don't make war. Make love. All right. Cool. Let's see if anybody comes back from the past for you, Leo, this week. Keep in mind, it could be somebody from a couple of months ago, a couple of uh, years ago, or five years ago. Also, keep in mind we're still in Mercury retrograde, and uh, you may have more than one X resurface during this period. So we have the Teal of Swords clarified by the Knight of Pentacles, we have the Nine of Pentacles, we have Justice, and we have the World on the bottom of the deck, and I couldn't help it, I couldn't resist it, and I looked underneath the World and we've got the Empress. You could be dealing with an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, you could also be dealing with a uh, Libra. So somebody does want to bury the hatchet with you, Leo, this week. Uh, but unfortunately for them, I think you would rather stay single or you would rather not let this person back into your life. Okay, so ultimately this is the rejection spread. So the first card I came out is the Two of Swords. And in this spread, I believe the Two of Swords is all about you being closed off, you saying no. And uh, the Two of Swords is clarified by the Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles could be an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn you're dealing with. Or, whoever this person is, they thought this offer through. Because the Knight of Pentacles is the slowest knight out of all four knights. So here they come with this offer. The Knight of Pentacles is also a very serious and very grounded offer. So they mean business this time around. However, you're done with their business. <laughs> you don't want their business anymore. <laughs> the Nine of Pentacles right there in the middle. This is a card of a single person. But most importantly, in the Nine of Pentacles is a card of somebody who is self-sufficient, somebody who is independent, somebody who is fine by themselves, somebody who doesn't need anybody, right? You could be financially secured, you could be admired by many, you could be glowing up and perhaps this person is still connected to you on social media and they see how, um, have, how you've grown, right, as a person or financially in whichever area. You're posting pictures showing this person or showing the world that you're doing great. 
and this person wants you back, right? But like I said, you're telling them no. <laughs> Justice card is either a Libra you're dealing with, but most likely it's all about karma. It's all about you being the judge, it's all about you doing the bam thing uh, against the table, right, and saying no. The world on the bottom of the deck is a card of an ending, but to me personally this is the happy end card. So even though this connection, this relationship uh, is finally coming to the final end, but you're still doing good, you're still feeling happy, you're really happy with the new chapter that has already begun in your life well, after this person became a thing of the past. And uh, the Empress underneath the world is very similar to the Nine of Pentacles energy. The, the Nine of Pentacles, not the Knight. <laughs> the Empress is again somebody who is just you know, feeling great about themselves, feeling good about uh, the way things are in their life. Uh, you're the Empress. Everybody knows who the Empress is. The Empress does not require an introduction. You're just sitting back on your throne, you're relaxed, and uh, you know you've got it. <laughs> That's pretty much it. All right? Cool. Let's talk about your work, your business, and your finances, Leo, this week. We have the Devil, we have the Two of Pentacles, we have uh, the Ace of Cups. We have the Three of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck, and I couldn't resist it. I looked underneath the Three of Pentacles, and I've got the Six of Wands. You could be dealing with a Capricorn. So you will most likely hear from somebody, you will get an offer from this person, and it will be really, really hard for you to resist. The Devil is either a Capricorn you're dealing with, but most likely this is that irresistible offer. And uh, they will come forward... Um, and they will structure this offer the way that it will appeal to you from your emotional side. Perhaps you, they, perhaps they really, really want you on board, and uh, they'll tell you, "Oh, by the way, um, our organization donates money to such and such cause, and we've noticed on your um, LinkedIn profile you've also volunteered for that same cause." You get my point. Leo, so it's going to be something among those lines. So they will really try to sneak in this little thing that will appeal to you a lot. But uh, you'll still need some time to think about it because uh, the card that came out in the second, right, in the in the center, right there. This is a Two of Pentacles. This is your energy. I think this is you making a decision about this offering. Um, you're going to put all the pros and all the cons on the, the different sides of uh, your scales and you'll measure it. <laughs> um, but in the end I think you're gonna come through, I think you're gonna take the offer. On the bottom of the deck we have the Three of Pentacles which is a card of um, working together with other people, collaborating um, with other people and uh, the Three of Pentacles, uh, if you take a closer look, uh, there's two people standing right next to each other but there's also a third person standing a little bit above the others so I think the three uh, the third person standing above the others is you Leo and this usually comes through as somebody who is teaching other people so perhaps they want to hire you as a consultant or as a manager you know somebody who will come in and basically teach everybody to do things right and uh, the card underneath the Three of Pentacles is a card of uh, victory, the Six of Wands right there. Right, so um, I'm going to recommend you to ask for more money, <laughs> if that is at all possible here, because I do believe they really, really want you. And the Six of Wands is a card of victory, so eventually uh, you, will, you will feel victorious, you will feel like you've uh, accomplished something here. So do ask for more money or some kind of a bonus or more stuff perhaps they can give you more shares right especially if this is a new company so they can assign they can grant you more stock options something among those lines all right cool let's see what you're not expecting to happen this week Leo we have the two of swords we have the three of pentacles we have the five of wands and we have the hangman on the bottom of the deck um, this week you'll have a choice, an unexpected choice. You'll be at the crossroads and the two choices are to either work something out with somebody or to get into a fight with that person. 
And that's the choice, that's the crossroads. I have no idea what this is going to be about. It could be about work, it could be about business, finances, it could be friendship, it could be uh, with a family member, it could be with a loved one, but you will clearly have a choice and um, you'll have to make a decision. So the hangman uh, on the bottom of the deck, this is uh, that situation that's going to be hanging in the air. And uh, the Two of Swords, the first card that came out, this is the Crossroads. The next card that came out is the Three of Pentacles. And in this spread, it's all about working something out or working on something together with another person or, or other people. And uh, the last card that came out is the Five of Wands. The Five of Wands is a card of a competition or this is a card of a fight. So, yeah. The Two of Swords, the choice, the Three of Pentacles to work it out. Or the Five of Wands to get into a fight. Okay, it could be a business, it could be related to business here. Um, so you'll either have a choice to fight with a competition or to just have a sit down with them and figure it out, work it out. Okay, but like I said, it could be about any area of your life. I don't really see it as being anything really significant because the only major kind of card here is the hangman. This is the situation that you'll be facing, right? And uh, the, 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 the rest of the cards are all minor arcana cards. So, um, yeah, you'll be, um, it'll be, it could be as simple as um, getting, a fight, getting into a fight with a roommate over something silly. Or it could be as serious as, like I said, um, over a business decision. All right. That's what I got for you, Leo. Hopefully it resonates. And uh, Hopefully you'll have an amazing week. And there you have it. This was your tarot reading for this time period. I hope it resonated with you and helps you live a better life one way or the other. Thank you for watching, sharing and subscribing.